All eyes, of course, on Pinehurst this week, particularly the weather. Fortunately, no rain is expected, but as Laura's been saying, there's a lot of heat. CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Dave Downey getting an exclusive look behind the scenes at how the USGA keeps an eye on the sky. Good morning, Dave. Yeah, good morning, Bill and Bray. It's certainly a little bit warmer out here this morning. We saw Tiger Woods in the fitness center over there warming up. He's teeing off in just over an hour. We'll get to those tee times coming up. But as we said, storm's not expected heading into the weekend, but heat and wind will play a factor. Plenty to keep the folks here at Pinehurst busy. Pinehurst is one of those locations in which We've had weather come from every single direction during the entire week. Thorgard and the USGA have been working together for decades. It takes two to tango, and that won't be the only dance this week. Anytime you have thunderstorms in the forecast, there's always that, are we going to do the dance? Are we going to hesitate? Are we going to have to pull the trigger? They don't play that game alone. We actually have scientific measuring devices on site to tell you whether or not lightning is building or whether or not it's just not present at all. Time to go check those fancy gadgets out. We travel to all of our championships with our Thorgard lightning prediction system as well as a weather station and we actually have a weather camera out here too. That lightning prediction system eliminates that now old school 10 mile lightning proximity policy. I've been in championships or tournaments before where we've had lightning five to seven miles away we've been able to play through it. But back to the temps. We've been fortunate that the uh, weather forecast is calling for some heat, but not the crazy heat that Pinehurst can get this time of year. And this time of the year, indeed, two years ago on Father's Day weekend, the Sand Hills hit triple digits on Father's Day. Not expecting that this week, fortunately. There's a lot of shade out here at Pinehurst, surprisingly, even though they're pine trees, they're not the oak, ash, maple trees that you would think of. For providing shade there's still a lot of shade along all these tree line holes we'll have more looks at the tea times coming up in the next half hour but for now we're live at the open we'll send it back to you guys inside dave thanks so much enjoy yourself down there we'll see you in a little bit